Hey guys, welcome back to Algos Explained. My name is David Kim, and today we're going to go over an algorithm question. And this platform is Leak Code. I usually do it on Code Wars, but um, I'm trying out Leak Code, and it's pretty good. It's uh, yeah, I would have to say I like it. A lot of languages that you can go off of here. We're going to be doing JavaScript today, and the question is going to be, um, or the 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 question. Yeah, the question today is going to be make a function that will reverse this for you, reverse this linked list. And so um, once I reset this code, I mean, I already reset it, but I already did uh, submit what I had before and it got accepted. Um, what will happen is, uh, let's see, let me run this code and it'll do undefined because in my function right now, we're not returning anything. But if we do return like the head, it will just uh, give us that, the linked list in this array format. And um, yeah, so pretty much that's the that's what they want us to do. I created this little little visual for us to help us with kind of our game plan for what we're going to be doing. So the head that they give us is going to be this one. Um, if this is if this is going to be our input, uh, they're going to give us the head that's going to be one, and that's already going to be pointing to the two, the three, the four, and the five. And so what we want to do is we want to completely flip that around. So like up here. We want to now have one, two, three, four, five, go five, four, three, two, one. And how are we going to do that? The way I thought of it was we have the head, and what we're going to be doing is we're just going to have that travel through the linked list so that we have a, um, a big O of n. And we're going to, whatever was the next of that original head, we're going to just kind of throw that back or throw it to the front, I, I suppose. We're going to make that the new head. And so now in this situation, um, three is now right after the original head. So we're going to make that the newest uh, official head. And so after these, there would be two more lines. The four would be at the very front, and then the five would be at the very front. And at that point, it would look like this. And because one would not have a next node, it would be done. And I could return that head, which would be five at the time, uh, given we have a point to everything correctly we would get the right answer. And so how do we do this? Let's go ahead and, well, we know that we want to be traversing through this linked list. And so um, we're going to have to use some kind of loop for that. And for our purposes, we're going to use a while loop. And now, um, I guess one of the tricky things here could be, what do I have inside that condition? What, what would I have? And I think, you might think, okay, I could either um, do head.next, but then if you think about that, um, one was our head, but now as soon as two is our head, it's going to be our next. And therefore, if we have a condition of head.next, um, we're pretty much going to just going to be swapping out one into two, um, almost infinitely, maybe, depending on what you have in here. And so instead, let's, we, we do know that we want to focus on whatever is in front of the one, regardless of where the one is. So the one, it doesn't matter if the one is not the head anymore, we still want to look at, does it have a next node? And so for that reason, let's create a, an OG head and let that be the head. And since we um, defined that before we get into our while loop, OG head will always be at the one and it won't magically change for whatever reason. So as long as OG head on next, as long as they're the one, as defined in this uh, scenario, has something be uh, next to it, or behind it, I guess, it will, the while loop will loop around and keep on going. And so, <coughs> excuse me, let's go ahead and uh, kind of see what we want to do. We want to, well, in a reversing linked list, the main thing that we have to focus on is, um, well, the only two things we get to fo work with, I guess, is this dot val and this dot next. And, in this situation, we're not searching for like a type of a certain node or anything, so this.val doesn't come in that useful. We do want to flip nodes, so this.next does matter a lot. And so what we're going to be doing is uh, let's look at what we want to flip. Two, we want that to be the head, so let's go ahead and make that the head. Head, head equals um, og head.next. And that's going to be true no matter what. We want no matter, um, we want the head to be whatever's after the one, which is our OG head, no matter what, wherever the one is. So we know that statement is pretty solid. 
And so let's go ahead and think of the next thing we want to do. We also want to, if now 2 is before it, the 2 is actually not pointing to the 1 still, it's pointing to the 3. And right now you can decide, okay, do we want to, um, which next do we want to work with? Do we want to do og head.next equals something? Or do we want to work with uh, head.next equals something? And in this situation, we want to do og head.next mainly because if we were to do head.next, well, say, say we work with head.next here first and imagine we don't have that line, then what would head.next be? Head.next would be um, pretty much whatever, actually whatever was the previous head, so we would then have to actually create a new variable, uh, previous head, and since that gets defined before we change the head, it will be whatever the true previous one was, so um, head.next equals head. And now when we do og head.next, we kind of lost our reference to the three. Say say we're at this situation here, um, og head on next. So we do og head is one, and og head on next. So we do have a two, or we do have a next node, and previous head is head. So previous head is just head. So that's still one. Now head is going to be og head on next. So whatever it was after the one, two is now the head. So now it looks like this, but the two is still pointing to the three, and now we say head.next equals head, so um, head.next equals, we should make that previous head. And so now head.next equals 1 uh, correctly, but now we don't have anything pointing to the 3, and so we could have either created another temporary variable, or we could have um, just done this one first. So, meaning if we do og head.next first, what would that be? That would be the 3. And what's pointing to the 3 right now? The 2 is, which is now the head. So head.next would solve that for us. Before, So pretty much before we redefine what head.next is, we're making good use of it. And if we wanted to do the flip around, if we wanted to do it this way, if we wanted to do head.next, then we can't because og head is trying to be whatever head on next is, but it got changed over on this line. Therefore, we we would have had to use another variable to fix that. So let's go ahead with setting the og head on next first and um, doing that. And so this this logic here is going to pretty much take us to uh, the end of swapping a linked list that is actually a linked list that's not empty that is not just one node and so what happens next is or one thing I do want to address right now is usually in a while loop you have something changing like whatever the condition here was we said that and like you might be expecting something like OG head is now changed to something else but in this case um, it's not going to be changed because we want it to end once the one actually does travel. We want the one to travel throughout this list, therefore um, we're changing whatever's next to it, but we're not changing the actual value of what OG head is. And so the only thing left here is to address kind of uh, the corner cases where maybe they give us the head and it's actually not even anything real. So let's go ahead and if not head, then we're gonna just return head. And the reason why we have to address that first is because if we give if we're given something like a null value, um, it's going to mess up over here. OG head is going to be set to null, and then we're going to try to do null dot uh, while null of dot next. And um, while that does seem like it's going to just be false and it's going to skip the while loop, that's actually not the case. It's going to throw us an error because uh, null dot next of null that's not possible. And so we need to address that over here. Um, in the case that it is uh, just like a single head, then that that will be okay because it'll actually be a node still, and um, dot next will be false, and therefore it'll just return our head. That's what I'm hoping at least, but we'll see when we uh, run this code and submit it. So as expected, our answer did flip it. Let's go ahead and try out um, when it was a single node. It should just return that for us, and the expected answer did that. And now, when there is nothing, we wanted to still return some. Oh, 
Um, just a minute too soon. Yep, and then we want it to be blank. And so I feel like as if all of our cases have been uh, accounted for. So let's go ahead and submit this guy and see what happens. Did they take it? Cool, they accepted it. Um, all right, uh, that is a video for reversing a linked list. And um, I didn't say that at the front, but this is a singly linked list. Uh, definitely would have been a different algorithm if it was a doubly linked list because you have a reference to the previous. Um, but yeah, maybe in a future video. Thanks for watching uh, this video and be sure to like, comment, and subscribe and check out some of my other algorithm videos. Um, I, I think I'm going to do more of these videos on Leak Code 2 now, but uh, so far the majority of it should probably still be in Code Wars. But I um, hope you enjoyed it, hope it was useful, and I'll catch you in the next one.